tonight, you can catch an eclipse of the International Space Station, and we'll have our first opportunity to view the comet that's lighting up the northern sky. I'm ABC 13 Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog, and tonight, the International Space Station will be cruising over southeast Texas. The fun begins at about 720, look to the northwest, and then four minutes later, it's going to appear as if it has completely eclipsed, disappearing in the middle of the sky. You're going to look for a bright light that's moving across the, uh, the background of the sky. It's actually moving at a very fast pace, but it's going to look like a plane flying through. And then about four minutes across its journey in the sky, it will suddenly disappear as it passes into the Earth's shadow. So it goes from 720 to 724, and the weather forecast does call for a clear sky here in the city of Houston. You will just want to make sure you're dressed warmly with temperatures at 7 p.m., 720, dropping down into the mid-40s. Not much of a wind. It'll be out of the north if it does stir, and up, up to 5 miles per hour could push the wind chill factor a little bit lower. But we cannot guarantee it will be clear across all of southeast Texas. There's still this batch of clouds out to the west near LaGrange, Columbus, Hallettsville, down towards Palacios that still could be lingering around. And also there's the comet you may have heard about. It's called Comet 2022E3. It's visible now through the first parts of February, and we've had so many clouds lately, we missed its closest approach, which was yesterday, but it's still pretty close to us today. You're going to want to look with binoculars at the very least, if not with the telescope. You can continue looking at it this weekend in the evening hours, but the best time to view it is going to be a little bit closer to midnight. It looks about halfway up the sky as you're looking up towards the north. Look for the North Star. Also, make sure you get away from those bright city lights if you're trying to view the comet. You don't have to worry about that with the space station, but it will be too much light pollution in and around Houston, so you even got to get away from the suburbs to have the best opportunity to view the comet. It's nice to see the sun back today, and it'll be nice to see the night sky again tonight to see the eclipse of the International Space Station and possibly catch a glimpse of the comet. Thanks for watching.